In this video, I want to show you how to optimize your WooCommerce image size. So I want to touch on two different points, right? I want to show you how to determine which image size to use on your store and also how to optimize the file size of the image as well to improve your site speed, ultimately improving the user experience for your customers. Okay, so with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to touch on is determine the image size, okay, determine the correct image size. So by default, WooCommerce recommend doing it doing the product image size 800 pixel by 800 pixel, right? So 800 pixel width, um, 800 pixel height. Okay, but again, this will vary depending on the theme you're using and a quick way just to determine um, what image size to consider. So for example, I'm using a WooCommerce storefront theme and I'm on my product page here. So there's two caveats here. Okay, so if you've got a product which requires a high um, definition image, meaning you want customers to be able to zoom in and see every detail of the product, then you will want to use a larger size. However, if just looking at the product like this without zoom is good enough, then you can actually use a smaller image size. So for example, we can inspect element here. So I'll just right click and I'll just click inspect element okay and if we click on this selector icon here and if we select um, the image size so here we can see the default is um, 800 by 800 right okay yeah so when we hover over the image here we can see the actual um, pixel display um, of this product image is actually 416.31 um, pixel um, width by 416 pixel height okay if all you care about is page speed then you might want to consider actually reducing the default image size to probably something like 500 for example or even you can do the exact pixel ratio um, however I'd think twice about setting it so small because in the future you might want to change your theme and then if you go for a theme which by default probably display the image using let's say 600 by 600 pixel for example it's essentially going to stretch the image okay you'll have to base it on your current situation if you're just going for straight speed then i'll just do it the exact width and um, which your theme requires okay because that will reduce the image size and there's no cropping of the image needed okay so that's one thing but again as i said if you need a higher quality image 1500 by 1500 for example and what that will do is when the customers zooming in they can see even more detail on the image so as i said it will totally depend on your specific use case okay so how do you actually edit the image size this will vary depending on the theme that you're using so as i said i'm using storefront and if we go to the customizer section here okay if we go woocommerce and then if we go product images so as i said again depending on the theme you're using sometimes you'll get an option here to actually customize the image size on a product page. We can also customize the thumbnail cropping. So when we're on the shop page, for example, these are the thumbnail. We can customize the size of these thumbnails, for example. Okay, but if you wanna fully customize the image size on a product page, regardless what theme you're using, then I recommend just using the WooSuite additional variation images plugin, okay? So just head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download this plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that said, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite additional variation images plugin, just go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and click activate, enter in your license key. Then it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section. Okay, and then from here, we can just go ahead and install and activate the additional variation images plugin. So as I said, this plugin will help you resize the image on a product page and allow you to add additional images to your variations and also videos as well. Okay, so with that active, we can actually refresh this page and then we should see the menu somewhere here, okay? Okay, and now we can see the additional variation images menu. Okay, so with this plugin active, we've got a few options, okay? And we'll go over it in a second. Let's just quickly navigate over to our product page. Okay, so this is how our product page looks. As you can see, um, the image size is slightly reduced, so we can actually customize this if we want. 
So we can head back over to the variation settings and we will set our gallery width to 50%, okay? So currently it's set to 30%. So we'll set this to 50%, for example. So let's just try 50% and see how that looks. 50% is too much because it's actually pushing down our product description. So let's try 40%. So you just want to keep tweaking the percentage each time until you get the right fit for your current theme, okay? So let's refresh this page again. Okay, and now this looks loads better. So I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna leave it here. And now if you wanna customize the image size, we can navigate again over to customize and now we'll have a few extra options. So when we go to WooCommerce and then product image, here we can actually set the max image width and the max thumbnail width as well, okay? So for example, if we wanted to say 400, we can do so. And then basically what we'll do, let's say for example, if you uploaded an image which was a thousand pixel in width then it'll automatically create a 410 pixel width version of that image okay so it will make the image load a lot faster and this way as well you get to actually retain the original size of the image so it's well worth doing and then just hit publish okay so how do you actually um, customize the thumbnail width and height before you actually upload the image to your site? You can do it in a few ways. So you can use Photoshop, you can use um, Canva, for example. You can just click create custom size, create your custom size here. Okay, just click create design. And then you can just upload your image and then all the images that you upload, once you drag it onto this canvas and then just export it, then all your image will be a uniform size, right? So that's how you could upload it using Canva. Okay, so now we'll move on to the optimization phase. Okay, so there's two common image file type which are used for your product images. It's usually JPEG, which um, allows you to have a smaller image size. And there's also .png, which allows you to have a transparent background, but it's usually slightly um, larger in file size than a .jpeg file, okay? Which one you choose will be down to your requirements. So if you need transparent background, then of course you'll use um, a .jpeg file file okay so assuming you're using those files then to optimize it personally I'll just run it through a compression um, site similar to this one okay I'll leave the link in the description below or you can just search for um, compress.png or .jpg right and there's a few and you can test it out to see which one gives you the better result but essentially just um, upload your image drag and drop it here then it will download a compressed version okay so if you want to take your speed optimization to a next level then you can use a plugin like this one here okay convert media meaning you can convert a media file to a webp and a vif Okay, so WebP is a new web format for your images and it us it's usually smaller than a um, .jpg file. Okay, so you might want to use a plugin like this. You literally just um, upload it and convert it and it will run it in the background. Before you do anything like this, I'll just make sure um, you create a backup of your site and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so a few other optimization strategies is you can use a um, CND, a content delivery network. So you can use something like Cloudflare and essentially what that will do is it will copy all your images onto their server and then whenever um, a customer visits your website see so your websites hosted in the US and then um, you've got a customer visiting your site from the UK if you use a CND content a content delivery network then what it will do is for the images it will load the images from their UK server or from whichever server that they've got that's closer to the UK meaning it will essentially load a lot faster as well. So it takes off some of that strain off your own hosting um, account. So you might want to look into this, it's totally up to you. Okay, and that's a quick walkthrough of how to actually optimize your WooCommerce product image size in just a few simple steps. We've covered a few different things. So we've had a look at how to actually determine your product image size and how to actually go about optimizing that file size for faster loading, okay? And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.